Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over here on lag.com. This is a game called Unparked Jam and in this we are in charge of a parking lot and all of these cars are packed in really weird at strange angles and we have to make sure that they get out unscathed. So let's go ahead, let's help some people out here. We're probably like a valet that doesn't get paid enough or something. But you'll see here, there's these two cars. They're sort of perpendicular. They're sort of in the way of each other. So I have to back that one out. And then this one can go forward, get onto the road, and go out the gate. Just like that. Fantastic. We got a goofy, nerdy smile face here. Emoji. Oh, and we got some, some nice jazz music. I like this. Okay. So here we go. Very similar to the first level. We just got to get these two cars out. It's all about order of operations in this game. So, for instance, you'll see here, I can't take this car here and get it out. Oh, there's even an angry face emoji when I do that. I'm, I'm causing some damage. I hope that guy has very good insurance. But we have to do this a certain order. Now, this guy can't go this way because there's a concrete barricade. But he certainly can go that way to get out. And then that guy, who was very impatient in the beginning, goes. And then finally, that guy who's been waiting, waiting patiently finally gets to go as well. So here we go. Let's just jump into it. Let's be the best parking valet of all time. Get all these cars out in the right order. Make sure that they're not bumping into each other too much. And that they're able to make their way on their journey safely. Oh! Okay, I, I had no idea. Okay, if you are impatient like me, and you try to make a car go onto the road while another one is driving by, you can actually accidentally bump into them. You can T-bone them. You don't want that to happen. I do want to talk to whoever these drivers are. Why did you park this way? No restaurant, no fancy five-star restaurant, no concert venue, no sporting event, nothing like that is worth parking like this. You have to wait to get out, and then other people are inconvenienced by you, and no one's happy in that situation. The valet or the parking attendant has to come up, and they have to help everybody out, like, one by one. And, oh, those cars drove through each other. Oopsie. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just, it's very inconsiderate to park like this. Don't park like this. Don't be this person. Or maybe it's completely the valet's fault. Maybe the valet did this. Maybe this was their fault for parking people the wrong way or parking attendant told people that they could park like oh yeah we got enough space for you if you want to park sideways in here and block like eight cars that's fine go ahead and do that that then that's their fault uh and you don't want that to happen so again we're just uh this is a very simplistic game but i like it there's something really relaxing about this unpacking sort of a uh just like tightly packed in container almost like a parking lot is a container for cars in a lot of ways and that's just what this feels like. It's very satisfying. It's strangely, like, cathartic to do this. Um, oh, wait, what the heck? Wait, this car is... Oh, this this car had a cone spawn on top of it. Uh, I'm making it move slowly. Okay, a little bit of damage, a little worse for wear, but I think a road cone's not the worst thing that could hit your car. And now the car is, is out, and so that's a good thing. Uh, this guy... Okay, can we move him that way? All right, yeah, get him out that way. All right, again, a, a couple dings and scratches here and there. You know, you can repaint, you can buff out stuff. Not the worst thing when it comes to being the world's number one car parking lot attendant. You want to make sure that your customers are happy. And again, oh, driving right through each other. Again, just doing my best here. Really, it's the customer's fault for uh, thinking that their cars should go this way in any way, shape, or form. That's not okay. And I, I like that it's adding either more or less cars. So here's the thing that I've noticed about this game. The pattern seems to be either it adds like a crap ton of cars and there's like eight cars in the parking lot and I have to figure out like the best order of operation or it gives me something like this where it's only five cars but those five cars are in sort of like a weird order. Oops, why did I go that way? I just wanted to ram the bumper right into that concrete barricade there for some reason. I don't know why, but that, again, very weirdly satisfying game. But uh, I like that it, it's simplistic enough to get the, uh, the gist of it down really, really easily while also being, oh, <laughs> being complicated enough where it does feel like a challenge at times, and it does feel like an accomplishment when you complete it. You guys know me. I like simple but hard games. 
Those are like my favorite types of puzzle games. And this one has definitely got that energy and I really, really just love. This is just, I don't know, there's something. Uh oh, these cars are, are spawning into each other. Oh, okay, so if I keep backing up, I can wiggle it free. Okay, that's good. These cars are so jammed in that they're actually phasing through realities onto each other. <laughs> and again, I just, I want to talk to the customers who, who think this is okay to park like this. Like, oh yeah, you know, it's the valet's job or the parking attendant's job to fix this, not mine. Good lord. I'm not, I, I don't get paid enough to do this. You know, this is, this is too big of a headache. This is a lot of work. It's a lot of, uh, very rude, annoying customers who are uh, forcing me to do this. I know it's part of my job, but maybe not this extra complication that's going in here. But again, there is there is something really satisfying about completing these like larger numbers of cars. Like what, what do we have here? We have seven cars? There's something really satisfying about being able to get seven cars out of these parking spaces. If we can, I don't even, okay. I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing here on this one. Oh, that one first, okay. Get this one out next, okay. We can move that one that way, I guess. This guy can go out that way. This guy can then go out that way. This guy now, now this one, and then finally that one. Okay, we're figuring it out again. Couple bumps here and there. It doesn't hurt the cars that much. We're going like one mile an hour. We're not doing enough to like cause any sort of damage. We're just trying to wiggle some cars loose. Try to get them out there, shimmy them through these little tight like uh, entrances and exits of this parking lot. Why are the exits so small in this parking lot? That's a real question that people should be asking. Not why is there a ding on my car? They should be congratulating me. They should be saying, hey, congrats, way to go with that car that was packed in way too tightly. How did you do that? And I go, just like that, just like that. Okay, so now that this is clear, we should be able to, oh, oh, he can't get through that barricade? Okay. I was gonna say, now that that's all clear, that guy should be able to make it out, but I guess this one guy can. Just this one guy. Wait, why can't you get out? You're supposed to be able to get out there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did we do such a good parking job that, <laughs> wait, did I do it wrong? I feel like that guy should be able to get, get out now. Maybe I did it wrong, maybe I did the wrong thing. Okay, let's try this. Let's see. Okay, that guy got out fine. I, I restarted the level. I think that that the uh, spawn of that car just glitched a little bit, and that's okay. That happens sometimes. Sometimes, again, you phase through realities because you're packed in too tight, and, and that's all right. That is A-OK. -okay. And hey, wait, what the heck? Is this back to level one? It looks like we're back to level one, and it won't let me play any more of the game. Did we win the game? Did we beat the game? We're back on level one. We won the game. We beat every level. That was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20 levels. So there's only 20 levels in this game. But they certainly throw you for a loop with some of those. Some of those take a little bit of trial and error to figure out. And as you guys saw, it definitely was a lot of fun. It was something like really soothing and peaceful and weirdly like cathartic about just unpacking a space just decluttering I guess it's like decluttering your physical space declutters your mind and that's exactly what Unpark Jam did for me this game was so fun it was really simplistic with a lot of challenge on top of it my favorite balance in a game hopefully one that was very fun to watch as well if it was please 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 check this game out over here on lag.com and as always it was great seeing you bye bye